What are you studying? Integrated multimedia. Perfect. Could not be more <laughs> perfect. Okay, so you're going to know the answers to these questions. Okay, the first answer, the first question. First answer. Is, I, I give you the answer. To give you the, the first, the first question is, have you changed your reading habits or your news habits since this administration began? Are you talking about Trump? Yeah. Yeah. In what way? Um, basically before, like, a lot of things didn't affect me. And especially since, like, I'm just starting to get into college. So, like, once the administration came in place, like, there's a lot of things you need to um, look into because when Trump makes posts, it's not as, um, like, a normal president would. Like, you have to go and read, like, the actual laws and things that are happening because from what he puts out, you can't tell what's happening. It's too vague. Yeah. That's yeah. very interesting. So, well, well, what does this mean in terms of um, the media in general? He's bypassing the media, isn't he? Yeah. What does that mean? Oh, well, just like the last reading I had in class was about like encoding, decoding. So like when you put out the information and someone reacts to it and sets out their reaction with media, like that's a whole nother thing that people are consuming. So instead of like looking at international news, when Trump says something about that news and people look at his reaction, they're not getting like the full story. Or they're getting different parts of the story, like yeah. different views, when they really need like Does this have an something effect else. on uh, you know on the inner workings and hidden mechanisms of democracy itself? Yeah, because like people are always seeing like very strong sides of it, and like they can't they see negatives, and instead of forming their opinions on the real things, they form opinions on someone else's opinions. <sighs> Interesting, yeah. So that means that we all have to look at this differently. Yeah. Um, how should we be looking at it differently? How should we be changing our way of finding and consuming news? Well, if you're like a Republican or a Democrat, you shouldn't just look into the news that your party puts out. Because especially now, there's a lot of tension between the two. So it's good to find neutral parties, especially um, international news. If you're an American, lots of uh, other countries report on. American events, so should just take more international approach to yeah. things. Now, how about you? How have you changed? You, are you reading more sources now? Are you looking at it's, more? It's hard to avoid. Like, even if you don't want to read, like, <laughs> you're going to know things. Like, it's just thrown at you. Thrown so, at you. So, like, find a way if, to you, get to us. if you don't want to just take what's thrown at you, and, like, if you don't trust that information, then, like, you need to start looking because you can't just always what comes to you might not be the real thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And how about you? How have you changed your habits personally? Well, I got to know now. Yeah. Okay, this is Gordon uh, Bruce. Gordon He's Bruce. one of our hosts at Think Tank. We're upstairs, oh, upstairs. at Think Tank on the eighth floor. Eighth floor. And we do a lot of uh, video. We, we stream on the internet 24 yeah. hours. You heard of us? No, actually. Oh, you I'm, should. You should, should know. Obviously, we don't market student. well enough. Yeah. yeah. And okay. he has some questions for you. So, Go so here, do you? Do, okay. So, one, a couple of questions after you. So, do you watch television? Do you use the television for news? Not really. Not so much. Like my parents do, but I find that the news on the television is more uh, like either like CNN or Fox. Like I prefer to just go online. No. What about radio? Radio. Because radio has a lot of news channels, like yeah. you know, National Public Radio, Hawaii Public Radio. Um, um, I actually don't listen to too much radio. The only station I listen to is um, the college radio for UH, and they have like different speakers like every three hours, so I get like a good mix of news. That's what, not really... Uh, what about yeah. blogs? Blogs. Do you follow any blogs um, or any of the social media sites? Are you, a, are you a follower of any of the, uh, any special people on Twitter or Facebook or anything like that that gives you news? I think, like, social media especially, like, it's becoming a real source now because, like I said, when people post their reactions, like, there's, like, the, the news in the link, and that's a good way to find it, so... So what message would you give out to your peers and your friends that um, where should they be going to get what you believe is to be the neutral news? Really, honestly, like, Twitter is big right now, okay. but you can't just, like, read what people are quoting. You have to read what they're reading, too. So not just the posts, but what they're talking about. Very good. Very, very good point.
Yeah. All right, well, good luck at school. Yeah, and where are you from? I'm from here. You're from